yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, questions for Coach Coney. Well, with your injury situation, do you have enough guys to suit up Saturday? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, see who we got. You know, we've got a couple of days to uh, let the guys get a bunch of treatments, and we'll just see where we're at. Uh, it, it is definitely gonna affect what we're able to do, but uh, you know we'll, we're gonna we're gonna put eleven out there. And we'll see. So I, I know that uh, I, I'm hesitant to talk about injuries and stuff because that's a Coach Brown issue. So that's, if you haven't already talked to him, he's the one to ask on all that. Noah Guzman, did you see any of that in practice leading up the way he did? Um, not as much in practice, but more on his Cerritos tape. So that was, um, you know, we knew we were going to need some depth at safety. And, um, you know, I mean, he, had he not, when, when he, he got kind of one of those blows to the side of his head a little bit, and that's obviously where most concussions occur. Um, and so he's he doesn't really have a, a bad one. It was actually he he was clear later on, not cleared by the trainers. But I mean, anytime somebody's like out on their feet, obviously you take you take every step to be precautionary. But I don't think he's had any uh, side effects, so it's up to the trainers to. Getting ready. He also, in the same play, sprained his ankle. I think the ankle's more of an issue. Um, you know, he hasn't had, he's had no side effects from the. Up to that point, yeah. pretty good tackling, though, in your opinion? Yeah, I think he, I think he's not scared. Uh, and he does, and he does what he's asked to do. Uh, that's, that's, I mean, you've heard me talk about that. So I'm blowing the face around here. If they do what they're supposed to do, they don't have an opportunity to make plays, and he he was in the right spot a lot, and uh, you know we we need to we need to have the opportunity to have him playing whether it's backing up Sean Mahone or or playing in a nickel situation, you know whatever. But um, that's the, the ankle issue, as everybody knows. Ankles are one of those things that don't heal fast, and um, so I think that's more of the issue than anything. I think that that. That part of us gonna gonna hinder what we can do uh, sub wise this week. How about Bartlett and Lowe and some of those other guys? How did they show up? Well, um, Bartlett did a great job. We we knew we knew going into the game that he was extremely athletic, uh, was explosive. What we didn't know was that he would play hard, and we didn't know that he would he would get out there. He really only had one play where he got a little bit flustered. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, we didn't do a good enough job of getting the front. They were balls in the middle of the field, and I'm sure we didn't do a good job, you know, getting the call right. So uh, uh, he played really hard, um, very aggressive young man. Uh, a lot of things that we saw are the reason why he was signed here uh, was, was what you saw in the game. He, he gave us some speed that we've kind of been lacking there, which is what I said last week. Uh, I think it was Monday or Tuesday last week when we had that, when we had this interview. Yes. I think you guys slid Tonkery over to bandage. What did you think of? Well, that? we actually did that two weeks ago, yeah. or two games ago. The dates were all kind of getting right. mixed up. Um, you know, it, it, it was a, it's kind of a necessary deal, uh, running out of those body types. Uh, and, um, you know, we're trying to get something where where he feels comfortable, and um, I think he showed a little bit of comfort. He did a, he did a much better job than he's been doing. Uh, he did not run down the Miller guys. He actually dipped his hips. He got around. Uh, he he was actually a, a really effective player, and I expect for him to get better and better and better. Uh, love him to death. He was a good guy. Really, really, you know, wants to do well. And, um, you know, we just, all of us are big fans of him, and we really want him to continue to progress and, and get better and better. Play where like he shoots in on that gadget play. And Thank goodness, because we, we, um, 
they kind of busted us on their their little wheel. We had some eyes in the backfield, and, and uh, so yeah, it's a good thing he came and made it happen. Tyke's really been a joy, uh, not just as a player but as a person. Uh, a lot of things you don't see in Tyke now. I think that his mentality as a football player. Uh, when I say a lot of things you don't see, if you watch the film, you'll see him. He's he's very aggressive and he's borderline. I mean, we're gonna have to talk to him about a few things. Uh, I mean, he makes a tackle and like there was a play down there when they got in their big set, where his responsibility was to tackle the fullback coming out, so we really didn't have to cover. Him. And uh, well, he got he tackled and he picked him up and he Greco Romaned him. And, and then pushed his head in the grass, and so, and that wasn't the only time. Um, he he plays on the edge, and we need as many of those cats like that as we can get that really want to be physical, and we just got to make sure we, you know, don't get any penalties. But we we really want that type of mentality that Ty Key brings. What we saw from the Stills brothers is that close to what you expect from them? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, in in. I don't know going into the game. Um, if I'd have sit there and said, hey, you're going to have eight sacks. And you watch the film, there was 12 of them out there that should have been had. And you go back to the Missouri game. There's people still trying to find out what we did against Missouri, the teams that play them. Hey, what would you all do? What would you all see? What was your thoughts? Because they obviously watched us getting into the backfield a lot. And you know, I thought we were awful. And, but we missed a bunch of it, but they, at least they see us getting in there. And I think we'll continue to progress and get better. You know, um, Texas Tech is the type of team, though, know, that throws a ball very quick, throwing rhythm, tons of screens. They slow down your pass rush. So we're going to have to be prudent, you know, uh, with what we do. Uh, we we got to make sure we can't just go flying up the field. I think the Baylor came out. Thinking they were just going to throw the ball deep a lot, and you know we were able to get some pressure and kind of get them off of that a little bit. And so, um, uh, you know, every game's different. So we'll see. I, those those guys when they play hard, they're really good. So and, that, and that's a lot of guys when they when they play as hard as they play, they're really good. And you can say that about a lot of football players. Having rewatched that goal line stand, those three shots inside the one. Just uh, uh, not going anywhere? No, our guys just, I, I think our guys won. It was good to see it, as, a, as a parent or as a coach or whatever, it's good to see your guys do things that you knew they were capable of doing. We played with a better pad level than they had. And, and uh, you know, I'm glad they didn't try to run it off the edge or whatever. <laughs> uh, but we, we practiced that a bunch of times in, in practice. And uh, we fit it up okay. There was one. There was one when they had uh, the other kid in at quarterback, the little quarterback power that we just didn't scrape exactly perfect, or we hit him three yards deep. So those are things we practiced, and it was good to see the things we practiced work. But down there, you gotta you gotta go all in on one thing or the other, right? Yeah, or you can't. Yeah, you, you try to stop everything, stop nothing. So it's like pleasing people. You try to please everybody all the time. You and fewer people than you want. So you just, um, you know, you, you just try to play the odds and, and go for it. I think they thought that they could, could knock us in, and they had been pretty successful with that. They were a big sneak team going into the game. We practiced it. So. Was the big deal, the defense you all did play, sounds like some of it's necessity because the personnel and some of it was Baylor, what they had to do to the ball. Um, you, is it something that carries over to next week, or is it an individual opponent? And do you even have the personnel to do that next week? Well, we'll see. Yeah. You know, today will be the first day of practice. I don't know that we'll be able to practice a full group today. Uh, it, you know, just base defense. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll practice in segments today, and uh, we'll see what we have moving forward in the next few days. And we'll kind of stay away from, again from the from that part of it. Um, when I was at a school called Memphis State, that is now, and I get harassed about that around here. I got a, I've got a master's degree from Memphis State. Uh, in the 90s, uh, we started, we played this three safety defense that nobody had really seen much of. 
And uh, I think we played Steve Logan's East Carolina team, who was pretty good. And I think we had eight picks in that game. And so there's been times periodically that we pulled that out. I know one time at Wyoming, we did it against BYU when they were about eighth in the country and, and got them. So it's not something that that I haven't done. It's it is the fad, especially in the Big 12 now. But it's it's not something that I haven't done. I did it at Clemson. Did it a bunch at Illinois at times. So if it just fit, if it fits what you need, and candidly, we haven't had enough safeties to do it to where we've had better linebackers than we've had safety. So if you want to use your best players, put your best 11 out there, and so we'll go from there. I'm okay. assuming Thanks, that coach. you didn't have Good. a lot of time to practice that and, and work on that. Is it well, we had a couple extra days. Huh? Yeah, we had, had a couple extra days, so that was why we were able to do that. So. Anyway, and Guzman did a good job, and he was the guy that that I was able to take away from another position to, to learn that. So here, so he's out. So anyway, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks,